Hey guys, all right, so in this video, we're going to discuss the meeting status update uh, form. So uh, inside the snapshot, we filled uh, this thing called the meeting status update form. The way it works is it triggers when a meeting is booked uh, from a prospective client uh, or a patient, depending on the niche. Um, then um, the calendar does its thing where it sends out the reminders, notifications, and so on and so forth, leading up to the appointment. Now, the, at the time of the appointment, it sends out a message saying, here's a link to update the client meeting status update. This is going to the user who the meeting is booked with. So when you click on this, it opens up uh, a form like this where it pre-populates the information uh, of the person who booked the appointment with you and, and uh, gets all of that. Now, there's a few things that you as a user need to fill out. Now, you could do this at the time of the meeting, as the meeting is going, and or after, whenever you choose to do so, right? So the, the way we use it in-house is uh, when a meeting's happening, this is open on the side. We're taking our internal notes right here, you know, whatever you want to type uh, of whatever the conversation's going on so you can save. Anything, any any sort of recap notes that you need to, you know, things you may need to email back or what we discussed and things like all of those uh, can then be typed in here. You know, for example, hey, I'll send you a quote for X, Y, Z, and here's the link for uh, this funnel or that funnel, whatever that case is, right? So you can type in all of that. That way nothing gets missed. And more importantly, if there is some sort of a sold value that you want to associate with that this customer is worth $500 to me, $5,000 to me, whatever the case is, you can put that in here and it updates on, on, on the dashboard. And finally, you select one of these statuses. Now, these statuses can obviously be updated uh, and changed to whatever the sales flow of the particular business is. But we've put together some of the generic statuses that are needed by almost every business. So even if you didn't change it, these, these should apply. Was a meeting a show or a no show? What did we sell something? Are they not interested? Or are they an unqualified lead? Was this spam? Or, you know, we were unable to contact them for whatever, whatever reason, or we just contacted them, but nothing happens. Right. So these, these statuses are there. And then conversation recap uh, notes, as I explained, entering any, any recap notes that you want to send to the customer as well. And then finally decide whether you want to send an email with the conversation recap notes, or you want to send an email without the conversation recap notes. So once you decide that one one or the other email goes out and sometimes you may have a follow-up uh, date, you know, the customer's talking to you and they're like, Hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm interested, but let's talk in two weeks and then we'll figure it out. Then you can come in here and choose a follow-up date of two weeks later uh, or whenever, and then update the meeting status. And based on all of these choices, it's going to move the pipeline uh, inside. It's going to add in the appropriate notes. It's going to send a, a after the meeting email to your customer uh, that you had a, a meeting a meeting with, uh, simply thanking them. Hey, thanks for yada yada yada. Uh, here's my contact information. Or and if their notes are included, then whatever the notes are um, are inserted in there. Uh, for you. And it's going to save these internal notes in the contact file, in the notes section of the contact file of that, that customer. So if you need to access them in the future, you can. So all these actions are happening all by simply completing this one form and you're, you're moving them further into other automations. And then if it's a, if it's a follow-up, a follow-up is selected. It is not a required field, but if you do enter in a follow-up and a follow-up is uh, selected, then all you, uh, all that needs to happen is on the day of, you'll get a message saying, Hey, you had scheduled a follow up with this customer. And then you can go ahead and uh, do a follow up at that time. All right. I hope that explains the form, uh, well okay. to you guys and the purpose behind it. If there's any questions or concerns, let us know. I'd be happy to help. Thank you. Take care.